this is Sean Bigger. Shout out to my brother, Mikey T, the movie star. You can find me at The Bigger Picture, spelled B-I-G-G-A. Please like, subscribe, all the things that these guys tell you. It would really greatly be appreciated, and you would definitely enjoy it. And also, Mikey T, the movie star, those that haven't subscribed and liked, liked. So, Sean Bega, I wanted to ask, what did you think about Eminem dissing Benzino after 20 years? Um, I thought kind of late, you know. Um, I don't know what really sparked that between those guys. I mean, it's been, like you said, 20 years. I mean, that's like beating a dead horse at this point. Um but um, shout out to Benzino and shout out to Eminem. Um, the back and forth was interesting, I'd say the least. Do you agree with Benzino? Is Eminem the rap Elvis? Like, do you feel the Eminem, the Elvis comparison is a fair analogy for Eminem? Mm, that's a good question. Um, Eminem the rap Elvis. I will say this. Um, if he is the rap Elvis, I don't I don't think I don't see that in a negative light. I don't see that in a negative light. That would just be what his, you know, legacy is. And, uh, I guess Benzino is saying because he is using someone else's culture and someone else's music to be um, who he is, you know. Uh, but I don't see that in a negative way, you know. That was Presley is a legend, you know. Um, no matter how you see it, Elvis Presley is a legend. No matter how you see it, Eminem is now a legend. So, you know, it's possibly I could say that I could see where I could see where he was coming from with that. How do you feel about Benzino's rap Elvis diss if you've had the chance to hear it in full? For it to be 20 some years, I did have a chance to hear it. I heard um, both of the back and forth, thanks to you. Um, I would, um, he did, he did, he did what he, he did what he needed to do. He did what he needed to do. It loses its, it loses its momentum slightly because it's been like 20 years and, you know, we don't expect these guys to still be, you know, going at it when we haven't really heard anything from them going at each other in all of this all of this time. And you think that was over with, but um, you know, it, it, I I liked it. It would it be was it um a ether or something like that? Not necessarily, but um, you know, I understood where Benzino was coming from in the lyrics. I understood what he was standing on. So I wanted to ask also, what do you think about Benzino crying on Drink Champs? Some people say it was the alcohol. Some people say it's fine. Gangsters cry too. Some people will say that's soft. You know what I mean? Some people will say Nori should have edited it out. How do you feel about that? Well, if you... Uh... We're more familiar with the previous platform. I went through that with Troy Ave. You know, um, I told Troy Ave that uh, I cry all the time, and he thought that was like a joke or a laugh at the moment. But um, I know a lot of killers. You understand, killers that cry every night. So the real recognize real, and we understand that. This war that we go through, Mikey T, brings pain. You know, it brings pain to the heart and the soul. So crying is not something that's, you know, far-fetched. Anyone that has suffered through this war know that that, that comes along with it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes uh, your spirit is overwhelmed and that's something with, from God. To see it as a weakness would be a mistake. 
you know what I'm saying? Because as I said on the previous platform, sometimes I cry not to let the man in me tear your head off, you know, to lay you to rest. So tears, you have to understand tears, you know, for those that don't understand, understand it, you know, those are the typical people, but all crying is not the same. Sometimes it, it's, it's your soul, it's the pain that you have been through, the pain that you're enduring and the pain that you're trying probably not to grow, go through. So it's, it's nothing negative with crying. It actually is God's way of cleansing the soul. Can you let everybody know where they can find you on social media, where your YouTube channel is as well, and also the type of content you're planning on bringing to the world? Because I know you're doing a wide variety. Well, the bigger picture um, is like reduction. The throne room is the show. So you can find me if you just look, go into your thing and put it in the bigger picture. Uh, make sure you spell it B-I-G-G-A, picture. It comes right up. Um, and you will see the throne room where I'm sitting at right now. And um, I pretty much positivity and whatever, you know, I'm a positive person. Like I said, I'm not with the riffraff. Um, and whatever I bring to the people is always positivity. I'm on on, on I'm on there speaking from the pulpit. I have guests, you know, um, and it's me and my queen. And uh, we pretty much, you know, coming for the community in a positive way. And instead of so much, you know, I won't call it trash that's on the internet, but let's just say negativity, uh, uh, non-good vibes that's on the internet. We, we're, we're not that. We come with positivity. We have children. We come with stuff that our kids will be able to be proud of us for in the future. Um, we try to highlight what's correct. And above all, we highlight God. We highlight what needs, we put it right where it's supposed to be. But um, positivity, for sure. So that would be what is different about watching the throne room, you know, the bigger picture. And we have so much. We have a red stuff. We have we're out in the street. We do the news. I um, mean, uh, that's really taking off, really like great right now. You know, people are reacting to that. Um, you know, um, shout out to Diamond D. Um, she is um, in every borough, and you know, we're going to the people, right to the people, doing you know, news right with the people about major topics you know right now she just did one with the illegal immigrants that oh wow you know it did so well it is outstanding i'm very proud of her shout out to diamond d again but um just positivity just coming to the people with positivity you know like i told you before um i'm somewhat of them you know, i like to be in the movies too uh mikey so I do a lot of acting as well. I shoot commercials, you know, um, non-drug commercials. Um, and um, I'm about to do a lot of um, sitcom type of stuff on the show too. So it's just a large priority you get when you come and you watch the bigger picture. And it gives you that feeling of where we come from, what we was raised from, a 90s type of feeling. Yeah, and you're also, you know, detailing your early life in chapters, like each part of your life. Yeah, um, right now I'm up to, um, I believe um, we're up to the second chapter. You know, I'm taking time with the third chapter because it's a very touchy, it's very touchy subject for me. You know, um, it's very heartbreaking for me, you know. Um, it's just a heartbreaking in the, the world of, you know, soon find out what making of the man is. It, 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 I went through a lot and been through a lot to see the person that's sitting in front of you. Yo, um, Sean, can you 
Can we take a, because we're about to be at the last three minutes of this live, and I have a few more questions I wanted to ask you.